It's Tuesday night, nine o'clock, yeah. And what is going on, people? Let me know. What's going on? I can't really, we can't really talk. I can talk to you. It's going up on a Tuesday, HQ's day, October the 9th. Is it Taco Tuesday, Tofurky Tuesday, Tomatillo Tuesday? Whatever you're eating, I hope it's delicious and nutritious. And I hope it pairs well with answering a series of trivia questions and possibly winning some cash because that's what you're about to do right here on HQ, the live mobile game show, where you answer questions to win cash. As I said, I'm your host with the French Roast, Quiz Christofferson, Quizzy McGuire, the Quizard of Oz, Scott Brigowski, live from the greatest city on earth, the city that never sleeps, Liverpool, England, on John Lennon's birthday. Yes, today, he would have been 78 today. 78. Dear H Cutens, won't you come out to play? Oh, 300,000 of you have, including Glanville Six, Ben Heisler, and Jacob Danley, celebrating a birthday. Now, I just want to let you guys know, something, something different is afoot at HQ. We're going to be starting our games on time. Yeah, 9 o'clock. It shouldn't be such a shock, but it might be for you. You know, we have advertising at 9 p.m. game. We're going to actually be starting at 9 o'clock. It's a new era here. I realize you've been trained to ignore that push, open the app late, cruise into Q1, like 9.06, 9.07. You might not be so lucky now. Get in the game at 9 p.m., if you want to win the cash prize, you got to be in it to win it from the beginning. And tonight, I'm chucking out 12 questions. You got to spit back 12 answers. If you do, you're going to be taking home a chunk of our jackpot. 5,000 double fantasies. 5,000 beautiful boys. 5,000 buckaroos. Yahoo! Do you have an extra life to help you win? Refer your friends. Use the code. Refer your friends. Play five days in a row. That's called streaks. You know how that works by now. Extra life's keeping the game. You can only use them once per game. Cannot use them on the final question. You watching the AMAs? You paying attention to what's out there in the world? Looks like UFC has their next match figured out. Lana Del Rey versus Alia Banks. Who's going to take this quiz down tonight? Who's getting on the mat? Putting in the submission hold? Whatever gets you through the night is all right. Oh, yeah. We're playing those mind games. Tonight, don't be a jealous guy. Don't be jealous of the winners. Be a winner yourself. Imagine all the H cuties splitting our big cash prize. Ooh, ooh. All right, let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you say? Let's get this show on the road at Cumero. Numero. Ba -ba 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 uno. Who was the second president of the United States? John Cena, John Adams, or John Stamos? John Cena's day in the Oval Office might yet come, guys, in the idiocracy we're living in. And John Stamos, well, his day is already passed. No, he's just busy with Fuller House and touring with the Rippers. But Presidente numero two, no, was John Adams, father of the sixth president, John Quincy Adams, 342,476, getting sworn in for Q2. Where's Q2? I'm seeing Q3. I don't want to get to Q3 right now. We can't jump the gun. Mother Superior jumped the gun. Mother Superior jumped the gun. Bow, no, no, no. Mother Superior jumped the gun. It's a John Lennon day. I'm seeing Q4. We're going further into the future. I want to stay in the present at Cumero Numero Tumero. Are we doing Tumero? Are we skipping right to Three Mero? I'm still seeing Three. Yeah? What? What are we doing? We're just going to Three? Yeah? All right. We're doing it. You, 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 you lucked out tonight, kids. We're skipping Q2. Flash forward to Q3. Paul Hewson, the lead singer of U2, is better known by what stage name? Eminem, Bono, or Sting? Maybe this should have been Q2, because we're talking about U2. Achtung, baby! You hear that rattle and hum? You miss too much these days if you stop to think. Don't think too hard on this one. Paul Hewson moves in mysterious ways. Hey, hey, hey. Mysteriously changing his name to Bono in the 70s. Bono is your answer. 309,955. Oh my God. Phoebe. So, so when you say Bono? Yeah. I, Bono's the oh. answer. Phoebe Robinson from Two Dumb Queens. Hi. 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 How you're, are you, Scott? You're, you're like obsessed with Bono, aren't you? You know, it's just a casual interest and a petite Irishman, which I think everyone feels in their heart. Yeah, and, and you, not you, obsession. you heard his name and you just, you just flocked. You just... You just <laughs> 
You know, I called the lift and I was here. You're here. I was here. You're here. New York City traffic let me get here. You know, Phoebe, what, I mean? <laughs> what is up with you? Two dope queens, by the way. Am I a dope king? Does that is that count? Yes, you are. You are serving yeah. like Game of oh. Thrones realness. There look you at go. this hair. There you go. And I could be like a Coco Khaleesi. Look at this moment. <laughs> give you guys culture. Give you Africa. Give you Wakanda. Also Ohio, because I'm from Ohio. So very nice. All the things. Yes. You've got it all. Yes, yes, yes. Well, you could write a book on Bono, couldn't you? With all the knowledge you have. I could. But luckily, I have a book coming out before the Bono book. Oh! It's called Everything is Trash, or Everything's Trash, but it's okay. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Do you know the called. name of your book? I don't know what it's called. Everything's Trash. <laughs> Everything's Trash, but it's okay. It's available on hardcover starting October 16th, but you can pre-order now, 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 can and you, get me on the bestsellers list. Can you give us a, 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 a hint? What's what's trash? Okay. Well, everything. I am. You're saying everything's trash. I, I've actually misspelled my name on several <laughs> occasions, like truly, like, and... Yeah, so oh, I'm no. the worst. I'm the worst. Yes, well, it's a beautiful day, Phoebe, with your book coming out. Do you want to help us with Q4 here? Okay, yes, I will. Okay, so listen up, boo-boos. Here's the question. Which of these actors was not on the TV show Say by the Bell? Tiffany Thiessen, Melissa Joan Hart, or Elizabeth Berkeley? Oh, my God. It's all right. Because we're Saved by the Bell. What, what's with Tiffany Amber Thiessen dropping the amber? You know what? That, I understand she went to show growth. But that's contra my childhood is Tiffany Amber Thiessen. It's yeah. not Tiffany Thiessen. How do you show growth by shortening your name? That doesn't yeah. make sense. Well, <laughs> Melissa Joan Hart was on TV for the entire gacked up decade of the 90s. She was not on Saved by the Bell. 237,249 knew it. Lark Voorhees, Tiffany Amber Thiessen, Elizabeth Berkeley. Those were the females on Saved by the Bell. Are you so excited? I am very excited about my new book coming out. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Phoebe's so excited. But we're so scared. Scared. For Q5. But before we get to Q5, Phoebe, I think I'm hearing your bell. No. Oh, you want to stick around? You yeah, having fun? I mean, can I stick around? I don't want to impose on your show. You guys know the question, but I want to tell people about, yes. <laughs> about our, our theme night on Thursday. If you like Saved by the Bell, you're going to like our Thursday theme. Oh, I'm quizzing television. Must see TV. This is must play HQ. 9 p.m. Here's a hint. I'm not going to be asking about Chico and the Man. Maybe Game of Thrones. Okay, yeah. All right, Q5. We'll give you one more, Phoebe. Okay, great. So this is the next question. Humans can catch warts, gross, from which of the following? Toads, humans, or rabbit frogs? Oh, God. <laughs> well, this is like, you know, frogs and toads have those bumps on their skin. They look mm -hmm. like warts. But it's a myth, a common misconception that humans can get warts for, from our amphibian friends. Humans give mm -hmm. humans warts. That myth has been busted. You're nasty. You down with HPV? Yeah, yeah you know me. me. 128,146 <laughs> knew this one. Phoebe, I'm down with you. Thanks so much for stopping Thank by. You this so has been so much. fun. Thank you so much, yes. Look at my denim, honey. Yeah, this is hot. Ooh, La Johnson. Straight Ooh. denim. I need okay. that. I'm, I'm rocking the suit denim look tonight. It's, it's very cute. I'll very go all cute. denim tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Hey, we're at the halfway point, H cuties. Sort of. <laughs> You're getting an abbreviated quiz tonight. Q6, the word canola, as in canola oil, is derived from which of these words? Canada, Canberra, or canister? Canberra. That's all. That's that old Australian capital that we asked about. Canberra. I met her in a club down in North Soho where you drink champagne and it tastes just like oil canola. C-A-N-O-L-A. Canola. <laughs> The Ola is a trade name for oils like Mazzola. The can comes from Canada, where this rapeseed hybrid was first bred, specifically the University of Manitoba. And I'm seeing a savage question at Q6. Yes, sir, Rihanna. 30,623 of you slick ricks sliding by on this one, but we just lost 100,000 players in one fell swoop. Ouchie, wowie. Come back tomorrow. Maybe your extra life will keep you in the game for Q7. Let's find out which of these music groups would not be considered New Jack Swing, New Edition, Soft Cell, or Color Me Bad. To the TikTok, you don't stop. From the mid 80s to the early 90s, New Jack Swing fused traditional R&B with dance pop and hip hop. Keith Sweat, I'll Be Sure, New Edition, and Color Me Bad scored in the genre, but Soft Cell mostly stuck oh, to cinema. And who's going to be tainted after that one? Uh, about 15,000 of you going down with a ship, but 19,710 still in it to win it. I want a six you up to Q8. 
The glabella is the part of the body where a person might have what? A fauxhawk, a soul patch, or a unibrow. Modula oblongata? No, glabella. There are some great words to describe facial features. This space right here, below the nose, above the lips, that's the philtrum. James Earl Jones has a huge philtrum. The smooth part of the forehead above and between the eyebrows, well, that's called the glabella. And Anthony Davis has a huge one of those. So does Maggie's nemesis, Baby Gerald. That's where you find the unibrow on the glabella, 11,469. Q11, the penultimate question. Warren G and Eight Dogs 1994 hit sampled an artist who was a key member of which 70s band? The Doobie Brothers, Fleetwood Mac, or The Eagles? If you want to win HQ, you can't be any Greek geek off the street. You got to be handy with the steel, if you know what I mean. Earn your keep. Regulators, mount up. Mount up. Actually, I'm just getting word. This is not our penultimate question. There are going to be two more questions. That Q2 is going to find its way back into this quiz. You better believe it. And you might be happy about it. I keep forgetting which Michael McDonald song regulator samples. Oh, Michael McDonald. I keep forgetting things will never be the again. Yeah, he put the doobie in Doobie Brothers. G-Funk. Mount up. Well, yeah, the Doobie Brothers is the answer here. Michael McDonald. That's what a fool believes, Kenny. That's what a fool believes. 1890 are tweaking into a whole new era. G-Funk, step to this. I dare you. Q12. The actual penultimate question. Q2 is coming after this one. So if you get this one, you're probably going to win. The author of which of these books was buried with a power saw? The Little Prince, Fantastic Mr. Fox, or Charlotte's Web? Now, according to his granddaughter, Roald Dahl had a Viking funeral when he passed, and he was buried with a few of his favorite things, which included snooker cues, wine, pencils, chocolates, and yes, a power saw. He's literally tearing it up in the afterlife. He also wrote Fantastic Mr. Fox. That is your answer. And a savage question. Striking late in the game. Oh, my Lanta. 486. Surviving this one to go to the actual final question, which is not the actual final question. It's Q12. It all boils down to this. It was really Q2, and now it's gonna be Q12, and therefore it's gonna be very easy. And I'm hoping all 486 of you who got this far are gonna go all the way and take home that cash $5,000. Q12 slash Q2. In grammar, what part of speech is used to describe nouns? Adjective, sedative, or secret operative? Oh, tricky. Tricky. Q. This is the trickiest Q12 we've ever had. Any major dude will tell you. A good solid sentence contains your noun and your verb, like in the sentence, cannibals eat. But what kind of cannibals? And how old are they? To flesh things out, you need adjectives. Fine young cannibals. 
Those are right. And we lost five somehow on this final question. But 479 are our big winners, baby! <laughs> Four seventy nine, feeling fine like those fine young cannibals, not driven crazy by the quiz tonight. Although I drove myself a little crazy with our mix up there. Sorry about that, folks. But congratulations to all four hundred and seventy nine of you, including Soul Sister, nineteen seventy, Nicolasito, 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 Carol McIntosh, Lava Christian, a whole lot more. You ten bucks and change. That's real U.S. dollars, legal tender, fiat currency. Yours now to enjoy and to spread. Maybe spread the wealth, you know, redistribute. Whatever you want to do with it, it's yours. Congratulations. Come back and join me tomorrow at 9 p.m. Also, sports, HQ Sports tomorrow at 7 p.m. And Must Play HQ is on Thursday night, our TV theme night. Thursday, television. Yeah, baby. And Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Never miss a Sunday show. This Sunday night. One winner will be taking it all once again. All $25,000 will be up for grabs going to one of you. I don't stop asking questions until there's one person left standing. Thanks to Phoebe Robinson for coming on the show. Thanks to all of you for sticking around and getting through that. Happy birthday, John Lennon. We miss you. Until I see you all tomorrow, I shall remain your humble host, Scott Rogowski. Signing, Signing off, off saying, saying when, a when a friend, friend is drowning in a sea of sadness, you don't just toss him a life vest. You swim one over to him. Let's set sail.